so this is what I sent to Fiverr artists and said, make something. That is a very slight exaggeration. I gave, I gave a tiny bit more direction than that, but what I got back from them was, and now we just have to add our finishing touches to it. By the way, there was a reason behind this like weirdly vague green screen footage that I sent over. Like, it's not like I just hate editors or anything. It's that this is a Fiverr challenge. It's similar to the last Fiverr challenges we've done, except I wanted this one to go a step further. This is a special one. And by the way, thank you Fiverr very much for sponsoring this video, making the whole thing possible. Appreciate you. But this is an important Fiverr challenge because finding an editor is very difficult, especially for brand new YouTubers and streamers. Like it can be so hard. It's one thing to find someone who can like take your footage, chop it up, cut out all the blank space and spit it back out to you so you can upload it to YouTube. It's another thing entirely to find someone who can take your footage and turn it into a work of art. That was a bit much, but like someone who can turn it into a, like a good watchable video, right? I am very lucky that I have found an editor that is able to take my garbage footage that I sent him and turn it into enjoyable, watchable videos. Thank you, Scott. Scott's the true YouTuber on this channel. Like, let's not make any mistake about it. So if this was gonna be a test to find like a real amazing Fiverr editor, I needed it to be a real test. I needed to give them control over the final video. So I sent them 30 seconds of me standing in front of a green screen and I said, I'll paraphrase by the way, something like, hey, this is for a Stream Beats ad for my music company. I want you to do whatever you want to do with this. Give it a mood, make it funny or scary or happy or creepy or whatever you feel, whatever direction you feel this can go. I will be happy with whatever you send me. I just want to see your best editing skills. And then one of them ghosted me. And then another one took a ton of convincing, which is totally fair, by the way. This is an outrageous ask for Fiverr editors. Don't do this. Don't do what I'm doing. But he was so positive that I was trying to scam him that I had to jump on a Zoom call with this guy from Portugal just to convince him that I was a real person. And somehow we did it. We got three videos back. The first one, hold on, I got the prices here. The first one was $83.46. The second one, was $96.19 and the third one, you ready for this? The big one was $950. They were supposed to be more staggered, like, you know, $80, $200, $900. But by the end of this, I just took what I could. It was, it was the best I was gonna get. <laughs> and I'm gonna be honest, by the way, it's kind of blown away. Oh, this is phenomenal. Oh my gosh. But the real fun here is before I show you the entire thing, each of these needs dialogue. That was the point. These are supposed to be like weirdly nebulous. And I'm gonna add my own dialogue to each one based on what they sent me. So let's jump over to the studio because we have a recording studio. It'd be a waste if we don't use it. And let's record some dialogue. And while we're doing that, I want you to guess the price of each of these. I'm not gonna tell you which one is which price. Can you at least figure out which one is the expensive one? Guess in the comments down below. Let's go. Hi. Would you be down to do some of these with me? I just think you would add a lot to my Stream Beats ads. That's all of I'm course. trying to say. Of course. All right. I've got you. I've got you now. Thought I couldn't see you. It's time for your suffering to end. No, you idiot! He was listening to Stream Beats. What? It's Stream Beats. It's all safe music. How many times do I have to tell you? It sounded so good, I thought for sure it was mainstream music. You're on thin ice, pal. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, you're good. I'll just I'll go back to sending DMCA strike to people using Twitch soundtrack. We yeah. do I agree. That'd be fun. Done the voiceover some anime sometime? Yeah. Deal. All right, next one. It's all about friendship. <laughs> you can't hurt my friends! Pikachu! Come that's, back! That's pretty good. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Game starting in three, two, one. Hey guys, wanna hear some good music? Whatever game you're streaming, whether you're this guy. Hey, is that mandolin music? I love the mandolin! Streaming in three, two, 
one. Or as this guy. Hey guys, who uh, was that? Was that a DMCA strike? Fear not, mortal, for you are listening to Stream Beats and shall be saved. Stream Beats has you covered. Half a billion streams and not a single strike. And it's completely free. That was good. Nailed it. By the way, for this one, I just Googled inspirational marketing words. <laughs> That's the whole thing. Bold. Daring. Epic. Unsurpassed. Obsession. Stream Beats. Nailed it! Gosh, that is going to inspire so many people. Well, what did you think of my ads? <laughs> uh, more importantly, which one was the $950 one? Have you guessed yet? Have you put it in the comments? While you're down there, hit the like button. It helps out a ton. You've watched the video this far. You obviously like the video. Please hit the button. It helps out a ton. All right. Let's jump into those three and my likes and dislikes about all three of those. And I will tell you which one was the $950 one. So this is the first one. First of all, this one was fantastic. This is the first one I saw when I got them back. My, obviously my only issue with this is I'm pretty sure some of this is actual footage from the ring, which I haven't seen since I was in high school. So I don't know how much of this would be usable in like a real ad without like, okay, like that for example, wait, wait. It was after the goat. After, there we go. That, I'm almost positive that was an actual shot from the ring. Unless someone recreated it, I have no idea. But I got this one back first, and I was so happy with it. I don't really have any critiques. By the way, this one was the $950 one, and I think they absolutely nailed the creepy vibes. I got a DM from Scott, the editor of this channel, who said, I watched that without any context, and now I'm terrified. <laughs> so guys, Excellent job, by the way, links to all three of the editors in the description down below. If you have any critiques or any thoughts on this one, let me know. Cause honestly, I've watched it like five times now. I don't really have any. This one here was the $83 one. This was the cheapest one. And this was interesting. There were things I liked about it. It felt like most of the video was stock footage of characters <laughs> put in there, cut in between, which is fine. Still green screen me out. Uh, also interestingly, so I shot this footage in log, meaning it's very desaturated, it's very uncontrasted, and you can throw a LUT on it to bring it back to like Cinetone kind of thing. That This is what, I mean, you guys saw the original footage. This is what I looked like in it. You're supposed to bring it to a cinematic tone. It kind of fits the vibe around here. Like I'm not gonna really heavily critique it just because it does kind of fit, but I, I'm pretty sure he left it in log when it comes to color correcting my footage. I love these effects. I feel like these effects were done by him. I thought they were a nice touch. For $83, I think he did a really good job. He did some good sound design. He threw some cool effects. He got real creative. I really think the only critique I have is the color correction on my body. I would have liked him to bring that to a little bit more of a colorful tone and get rid of the log footage. But overall, excellent work. Super happy with that one. This next one, before I say anything, I wanna know your thoughts, because this is obviously the 90 something dollar one. I'm gonna give you a couple seconds to guess what you think my opinion of this is gonna be. It was the shortest one. He went below the time length that I asked for. I loved this one. I, I think it was cheesy which is perfect. The guy kind of went above and beyond. For 91, was it 91? Oh, 96. For $96, I think this guy was the most bang for your buck. And by the way, you can see the difference right here. Scott, do you mind putting this guy side by side with the previous one? This is what happens when you actually add a color LUT on top of log footage. It actually looks really, really good. But take a look at this. There are a couple things that this guy did that was just fantastic. First of all, in each one, I am color corrected for the environment. You can see I went much, much cooler, a little bit more blue, whereas this one, it's supposed to look a lot hotter and he made me a lot more orange. Like I fit in with the environment. On top of that, first of all, the transitions are also really cool. But also, do you notice there are elements in front of me? Like in this one, people walk in front of me. And in this one, 
You see the dust floating in front of me? He does that in every single one. See, you can see there's like a steam rising in front of me here. Also, by the way, this is exactly why I shot that last one vertical. I shot it vertical in 8K. Like if your video is in 4K, right? Your vertical resolution is a, a little over 2000. It's like 2160. When I shoot with the camera sideways in 8K, it means my vertical resolution is now about 8,000. Meaning he can punch in at 400% and still have full 4K resolution, which is what he did here. This guy took advantage of the full resolution, which was fantastic. Look how zoomed in, look how zoomed, this is the same shot. It's not like I moved the camera closer. This is the same shot as this one, but just look how detailed I am all the way up here. Like you can still see that hair. So is this one better than the $950 one? No. No, I think more editing went into the $950 one. There was a little bit more, I don't I don't wanna say more creativity because creativity is very subjective, but there was definitely more time and effort put into the $950 one. I would say objectively that one was a better video, but was it 10 times a better video than this one? I don't know if I could say yes to that. This one might be my favorite uh, value like like quality to price ratio, which I guess value. So fantastic job to every single person that did this. I'm not disappointed by any of these. Given how little instruction I gave them, they did a phenomenal job. Again, I've linked to all three of them down in the description below. If you're looking for an editor for your stuff, I think any of these three guys will do a fantastic job. Let me know what you thought of my written dialogue that we wrote for the ads. And of course, if you're not using StreamBeats for your YouTube videos, Use StreamBeats for your YouTube videos. Not only are they totally safe from DMCA strikes for your live streams, but we've also put in a ton of effort into putting them into Content ID and getting them whitelisted on YouTube. So you can actually use them and still monetize your videos and they're completely free to download. Link to download all of our 1600 StreamBeats tracks in the description below, completely for free. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, happy streaming.